how are we gonna i think we might just build over there from over there to remove it because i don't want to like entirely risk my life for five pieces of marble <laughs> you know it's it's not that intense i'm considering it yes but i'm not actually always doing it okay oh we have wild carrots over there interesting for some reason i thought we, we had that right in front of us and i wanted to remove it big brain okay uh i would like a little bit of dirt actually so we have something to build over there again Our house. I still don't entirely know if I want to keep our house looking like that. We might change some stuff. Eventually, not now, not now. Right now I want to get this project done and all this flying stuff removed, so... Okay. Uh, okay, for one second I thought my recording wasn't recording anymore. That was a little bit terrifying. It's, maybe you need to actually click on the right block. Just maybe though. Okay. Dude, I am pressing the sneak button so hard. <sighs> okay. okay. Okay, everything is fine. Is there marble over here? Oh, is it all? Oh, we have marble over there. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this! What is this? Marble! Oh, that one despawned right in front of our nose. Nose. How rude. Also, I feel like maybe it's just because I haven't been recording for like a few days, but compared to the very beginning of this Let's Play, like the first few episodes i think my um accent coming through has um gotten less and less just from like what i feel like personally don't know if it's true i just feel like at the beginning i was constantly struggling with some words and now it's not like it's perfect sometimes my brain just forgets how to english <laughs> but i think it's gotten better i mean it probably has a little bit considering I've been recording pretty regularly for the past months and speaking this language regularly probably is helping. <laughs> Just probably? Don't know. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Okay, we are going to start uh, on that thing first and then... This other section can come later. We need to skies again. And we might end up filling up the other backpack, even though I don't really want to. Okay. Want the leaves? Uh, basically, I think we're gonna. Yeah, pretty much. This is where you can make the cut for now. And that is what we are going to work on now. Um, <sighs> starting with the trees. Oops, didn't mean to use the axe for that. Let's hope a pickaxe um, stays for this. Have some worries. Eh, nice. We're just normally are going to do that one. Okay, I was worried we were too low to get the last peaks, but everything is fine. Everything is fine, no one is dying yet. Okay. Eat, eat, eat. This shovel is so fast, it is incredibly satisfying. Uh, did we need? We didn't need. Okay. 
I am just so scared of accidentally falling down. <laughs> uh, maybe I should uh, running back up and down the whole time for having a set bed somewhere is also not it. Nah. We're just gonna live the risky life. We have to deal with it. This is the lifestyle that we choose, okay? Three. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, if we're already at this, we might. For the occasional decorating. Marble! Always lovely to see. Okay. Oh, wild mint! Why did I- we, we don't need to skive anymore. Eh, uh, normal backpack. I am just confused. Oh, we have two and a half stacks of leaves. Oh, that is amazing. And two stacks of pine wood. Okay, I don't need to worry about pine wood anymore for some time. Nice. This this is going well. You know, we're, we're getting wood. We're getting leaves. We're getting a lot of the stuff that we need. It's great. Okay. At least the marble is fast. Well, right, great. Red Granite is just the worst enemy of this let's play, let's be honest. <laughs> like, you don't see iron in it, it's slow. We had it right underneath us when we were still working with stone and iron, which was taking way too long to mine and we had a lot to mine. It's, it's, it, I don't like it a lot, okay? I have some bad memories about this type of stone. That's just the truth. Okay, try not to get yeeted. Okay, uh, we need to try to stay somewhat in the middle of this, I guess. Oh, I meant to grab that grass. Well, rest in peace. Rest in grass. <laughs> what is going on with me right now? We can just normally mine for a little bit, I think. Except for like some edges over here. Also, I'm sorry for getting quiet every now and then, but I'm just listening out for noises if my parents are coming back. So I can stop recording then so I don't have them yelling in the background. Hello, we're back! We didn't get your weird vegan stuff, it was sold out! But we brought you some weird candy that we found! Is that okay? Like. They're trying. <laughs> like, the thing is, um, I don't join my parents for getting groceries all the time. And uh, I owe it with certain things, you know, because I'm vegan, my parents aren't. So a lot of the time I send them pictures of stuff that they need to get. Um, and I even write descriptions of where some things are in the store. Like, when I know they are there and not like, hey, check out if they have this new thing, like something that I've bought previously that I like, that I just want again. Uh, I, I like, I'm like, you know, I'm telling them where to find it, how it looks, all that type of stuff. And sometimes they still don't find it. it it's a bit of a struggle, okay? But then they, they usually try to get some replacement stuff, so that's kind of nice. But a lot of the time, the replacement stuff, you know, I'm like, can I get some like vegan yogurt and they're like okay sure we'll, we'll get it and I you know tell them in which aisle they find it around if it's the end of the shelf which height all the type of stuff how it looks I send pictures and then they're like okay we didn't get it but we brought you some apples I'm like yeah thank you <laughs> the apples are going to make up for the yogurt yes <laughs> like I, I don't mean this in a negative way it's more like in a funny adoring type of way even though sometimes it really that time they didn't find the yogurt even though i told them where it was it, it really bothered me a little bit because i was a bit obsessed with making a uh, cereal with fruits and yogurt and i didn't have yogurt anymore and they didn't bring any so yeah because the thing is, the vegan yogurt in our usual store is not with the other vegan stuff, it's in like the diary type of shelf. 
and my parents only looked in like the vegan shelf but I, I told them it's in that other shelf at the, at the very end there please find it and they were like yeah it wasn't there but then I was like where did he look well at the vegan shelf I was like nah it kind of rose like right behind please bring yogurt in that other aisle <laughs> like I don't know does anyone else ever struggle with that I mean, I, I'm not mad at them, it's just, it's parents, it's parents. <laughs> and I really appreciate that they are grabbing me stuff even when I'm ripped backpack, even when I'm not with them. Weird car noises in the background, okay. But yeah, uh, that was a little bit of a story time of me not getting my yogurt. <laughs> Very depressing times. Very depressing times. <sighs> I don't know, what else can we talk about, kids? Um, I am going to cook some new meals in the next few days. I asked my parents to bring some stuff, including um, celery. And my dad was like, what is that? Where do you find that? What, what do you want with that? And I was like, it's the vegetable. It, it, it's fresh. And my, my dad was just like, okay. Because it's like a little bit of a family inside joke. My parents tend to use a lot of convenience food and then fresh it up with some um, other stuff. So they, they don't have just the convenience food and rather, you know, add a little bit of their own taste and that kind of stuff to it but oh I got the pickaxe no please don't please don't please last <laughs> so um, every time I ask for like some vegetables that I usually don't ask for my dad is just like what what, what why do you want fresh stuff we have good good canned stuff good frozen stuff and I'm just like yeah but we don't have that and the recipe needs that and yeah I don't know um I don't know, uh, how do you call that? Um, so basically what I'm going to make for once is um, vegetable lasagna. So I have never made lasagna myself. And I really hope that we still have like some um, pots for that, like some bakeware where, where you can make this lasagna in. Like, fuck! Um, my parents uh, used to have like a bunch of uh, stuff to cook with, like cooking utensils, but when they realized they weren't using all of it, they kept some for like some years and I, including like some bakeware for the sand yet. I remember a few years ago when I started getting into cooking, I was like, ew, can you like not throw that away? because they were throwing some of it away because it was just old. Like some of that was still from their parents and just had a lot of, um, you could see it was old basically. And I asked them not to throw away the lasagna bakeware type of thingy, but I don't know if, if it's still there because I don't remember seeing it for the past few years. So there's a slight chance we don't have that anymore. So if that is the case, I have a slight problem. Even though we have another type of thing I guess I could use to make lasagna in. It's not gonna be ideal, but it could work. Okay, first of all... Hello, pickaxe! Uh, sometimes it happens when... Vision... Oh, I had another one. Well... <laughs> well... Um, but, 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 do we have any more salt? No, but we have this. Anything else for upstairs? No. Salt. Also, by the way, a new version of Pam's Harvest Craft, you need to make the salt all yourself. Like, salt ore doesn't exist anymore. You need to make it with a pot and water. By the way, does this version... Uh, we have this fresh water. Okay, interesting, because in the new version, you use one water bucket to get fresh water, but then you get eight fresh water, and then you can use the one fresh water to make eight fresh water again. Have I been using that. I, I have because you need salt and sometimes even fresh water for a lot of stuff in the newer version. So um, yes, I have been using that. <laughs> okay, two pieces of gravel. 
Uh, uh, all this type of stuff here. Wood can go there. Let's get... Oh god, so much red granite. Uh, marble. Nice! Over one stack. By like doing nothing really. Uh, that's red granite. What else? Rhyolite. Um, that was there. Let me just have limestone. That type of stuff. Marble. Bunch of dirt. Oh! Uh, 64 stacks. Nice. This can go into the Cabin Mountains backpack. Just because we'll need it there. We don't need that stone anymore. Uh, over they go. The wall and everything we're gonna keep in there for now. Um, yeah, I think it's going okay. Um, we have all this stuff here. Oh god, so many saplings. Uh, spruce saplings, pine sa oh, two stacks. It's so cold in here right now. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be recording with the window open for like one and a half hours. We're just gonna throw all of that in there. I don't care. And then we get that back out and we get that out. And then we can continue until the parents get back home. Oh, wait, wrong back. Eh, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, I really want to um, make a little bit more other food in the next few episodes, even though it's not going to be as good as our current food because it's like pretty much the best food. I still want to, just for like a little change, showing everyone how many amazing recipes there are in this mod. And yeah, just showing people how amazing everything is. Yes. I love every single mod in Life in the Woods. It's it's a it's an amazing I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> it's an amazing combination of mods and it's it's just incredibly lovely. I love it. Okay. Uh, how, oh, we have, we can climb this up, I guess, uh, or not. Uh, rip pickaxe. This is um, not what I planned to do, but it is what we're doing now. Oops. Okay. Interesting. Game? You okay? <laughs> uh, I think the game needs a hug. All these stones need a hug. That could also be the case. Maybe because it's red granite and we have been bullying red granite for quite some time and it's just a bit sad. Could be the case. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, we're finally... Finally getting through with this. Okay. Uh. Oh, and I was also 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 next to the um lasagna with veggies and everything. I want to make another type of meal. Thing is, I think it could be a little bit more German based because it's Hühnerfrikassee in vegan. So um, basically it's chicken with like this type of sauce. You make rice to it and then there's like, um, oh god, how do you, um, <laughs> the big X. Uh, then there's asparagus in there as well and like carrots and peas. Like all like it's really nice. I loved it as a kid. I there was this um, vegetarian one available as like a easily microwave microwave thingy ready in three minutes type of thing, but nothing in vegan. So I want to make that myself, and I I am a little bit scared too because um so I I don't know the exact name. Basically, if you Google 
uh, that and I think that's how you spell it. Hühner means chicken, okay? So I, I don't know if it's also a thing. I mean, most recipes have been uh, done into other languages as well, so it should be available. It's really nice, loved it as a child, like I said, and I just really want to make it again. Because my parents sometimes eat it, and I'm just always like, ah, would be nice, would be nice. And I found a recipe that isn't too hard and doesn't need too, too much random stuff, so I'm gonna give it a try. Especially because I really want to get more into cooking again. Lately, when I've been cooking, it's been spaghetti. <laughs> I don't have time to cook, okay? <laughs> Also, it's really interesting how sometimes the pickaxes, yeah, they do this. They don't know if they want to break or not break. Okay, I think now it's done. <laughs> now it's completely done with life. Okay. <sighs> Honestly, these little food conversations are really nice. Like, just little conversations about life. I really miss doing this because lately it's just been projects, 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 and me stressing out. I mean, I'm still stressing out right now, but I'm stressing out with nice topics to talk about. <laughs> Let's see it that way. But no, I really... I'm gonna try to keep uploading daily from now on. I, I'm really glad that I've been... I can get three episodes out of this probably. Unless my parents get back literally right now, if they can stay away for like seven more minutes, then I have three episodes. So then I just need to fix my sleep schedule in a way where I don't get tired at 7 p.m. <laughs> and can keep my eyes open anymore. When I get that done, I can record again at 10 p.m., get some episodes in. It's just with Christmas coming up, I don't know. You know, I don't. I'm not too busy around Christmas, it's just like I said, still need to get one one last present stuff done today. Then I need to start wrapping everything, which will be a little bit hard because usually I do that in my room, but my boyfriend is always in my room, except for now today because he stayed at his parents' house for once. <laughs> yeah, how could you? I have to say it was really weird to completely sleep alone. Like Either he got back when I was asleep and, um, you know, or even if we had opposite sleep schedules, he was still like in the room and now he was just completely gone. It was weird, okay? Like, I'm so used to lately. Uh, I tend to go sleep a little bit before he does. So, you know, I still hear him like typing on his keyboard because he is so lovely and um if he which which lately has always been the case he has been talking a lot to his friends and stuff you know and whenever i go to bed he goes out of the voice chat and just um reverts to chatting with them so i'm used to like hearing the keyboard just clicking noises you know the usual type of stuff and not hearing that not having him come in late when i'm already asleep and being like hey i'm back or it was a bit weird. We have not spent a night apart from each other since August. <laughs> so it was it was weird. It was weird. Yeah, that is what's been going on. And we moved. honestly look at this. We have so much space. We can build a really, really cute farm over here. We just need to save all the animals that are trying to eat themselves. Okay, we need the shears again. <laughs> I need to stop trying to put away stuff. It's not happening. Um, I don't want to accidentally remove the wrong tree. I think I might need to get up there. I'll just say removing this one will be a little bit trickier, I think. It's like a, an actual mountain here that still has some ground connection, isn't just flying. So, uh... Oh, wild carrot. This will be interesting. I'm a bit scared. <sighs> oh, it's over there. With the thingy. Okay, let's do this real quick. Just so this is done. 
Okay, look at this. All completed. Um, we will need that. And as always, we just throw everything else in here for now. For future us to deal with. Hi. You can go to the farm. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <sighs> this is a lot more work than I thought it would be. A lot more work. Okay. But honestly, right now, I feel like we have gotten an okay amount done. So, episode 200 hopefully can stop terrifying me after this recording session. I will take some notes for the next one with all the cabins that still need some stuff. And then hopefully, hopefully, I can calm down a bit. But I know myself, I never really calm down, so <laughs> good joke, Kiwi, good joke. Dude, thank you. <sighs> Sometimes trees don't stop, they just keep going. Okay. It's all flying. This is already part of the mountain. Thing is, this mountain really, except holding that one tree, it's just kind of separating everything and in the way. So, nitos delitos in progress. <laughs> and that tree, that tree will definitely need a big nitos delitos, but uh, work in progress. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna use the sky for that one because I'm worried about removing these. Okay, that one is on the hill kind of, but maybe we can keep it. I have to see, maybe we just have a little the ground being a bit higher, oops, around this area, so I don't want to remove all the trees, you know? Okay. I like keeping the nature around here intact, in case you have noticed. I mean, that is what I'm saying as I'm terraforming half of the biome, basically. But I really don't like removing everything, okay? There's a difference between needed terraforming and just destroying everything, okay? Trust me on that. Just trust me. Okay, I hope that was everything from that tree. <sighs> I really look forward to the farm. I really- I have some pretty cute ideas in mind. I just, instead of buying spawn eggs from the market with emeralds, you know, Pam's Harvest Craft, I would actually really like to rescue the animals that are hanging off all the cliffs around here. But uh, that will be... That will be some, some interesting work. Knowing how Minecraft animals are, they just want to eat themselves. Especially these animals. I mean, half you see where half of them are standing on one block before like a 30 block drop they don't want to live <laughs> and it will be it will be a challenge to make them want to live but maybe we can do that i hope we can do that uh this needs to go pine wood spruce wood all this different stuff heat the speed of this is so satisfying. I am glad we are using that one mod with the choose your enchantments type of thing, you know. I think it's called Enchantment Plus, Enchanting Plus, something like that. Uh, it's just, it's really useful. I, I know some people when it comes to that are like, eh, just go with the vanilla Minecraft type of thing. But especially in this version, you don't have a preview of the first achievement, <laughs> achievement, enchantment. So it's really just wasting 30 levels and then you get uh, unbreaking 3 and nothing else on the pickaxe. So I'd rather use a few more levels to get everything that I want, you know. But that that is all up for individual, individual 
using, judging, like, even, you can play Life in the Woods without using that enchantment table, like, it's literally, <laughs> I can't spell. Here, you can have that upgrade, or you already make the table like that, like, right away. You don't have to use it. If you don't want it, ignore it, you know? The mod doesn't add anything else from what I'm aware of, so, um, you know, don't like it, don't use it. That's also like a really nice thing with some mods in Life in the Woods, you know, if you don't want it, just just let things be and, you know, don't bother with them. Okay, time to collect all the gardens. You can probably plant some of these around the area, I just don't want them to spread too, too crazily, you know? I want it to look somewhat kept intact. If that makes sense. Da, 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 da. Is it getting dark again? Already? We were just sleeping. What the heck? This is like real life, just constant sleeping. <sighs> uh, oh god, yeah, we need like a little bit more around here. Huh, why, why not pick it up? Well, we might need all the dirt one day, who knows. Maybe we're gonna build a highway leading up to the city. <laughs> oh god, our inventory! When? And why? And how? What? Poor innocent inventory. Oh, okay, we, we are at three episodes in. I think that will mean I'm going to leave for this. For future Kiwi to deal with. Uh, I hope she has fun with this. <laughs> I don't think she will, but well. Uh, more terraforming coming up next episode, more suffering coming up next episode, and I really hope that I'm not going to miss out on any more daily uploads leading up to Christmas, but no promises, okay? No promises. I will try my best though. So yeah, kids, thank you for watching me lose my mind and terraforming and talk about food. <laughs> it's been really fun. I actually have been enjoying this a lot. This little nice talking and getting stuff done session here. I love you, kids. I really want to close my windows and outside looks really beautiful. And yeah, take your meds. Please stay hydrated. Cook nice food. Eat nice food. Do what makes you happy. And don't start massive projects in Minecraft because you are going to lose your damn mind. I love you. And goodbye.